it's the easiest thing to make is a one ounce bar, but it's not available. It's not available because every coin dealer, every bullion dealer has orders for thousands of one ounce, whatever, bars and rounds. Buy your precious metals online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold and silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. So what are you thinking there, Tim? Um, I'm always partial to the bars. Mm -hmm. And if you get the right size bar, they're going to be less expensive. Uh, when I say the right size, 10 ounce or higher, they're going to be less expensive per ounce. Because of the premium. And honestly, I think it's pretty easy to convert them. All right, so where's your 10 ounce bars, Tim? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we sold a lot of those today. Well, can I see some that you didn't? <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh. Wow. That is shiny, and they're sealed from IGR. Wow. So a 10-ounce, you know, these 230 plus the premium each? What's that come out to be? Uh, no, they're uh, 295. 295. They're 29.50 an ounce. And that's what that's, that's so that's what the six dollar that's a six dollar premium built into what the spot is. I think the spot yeah, is it's, um, it's based on what they end up costing. Yeah. Okay. You, you seem to be bar. partial to bars. You seem to be partial to bars. Well, that's interesting, Tim. He thinks I'm partial to bars. That's <laughs> completely. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching my. <laughs> you know that's not true, right? No. <laughs> I'm partial. I'm yeah. partial to coins, but the that's bars, right. aren't I'm bad. partial to bars, bars because they. <sighs> okay, you like the bars. Easy to price. And, um, you know, when the price of silver starts going back up, there, it's very easy to, to price a 10-ounce bar because it's 10 times whatever the 1-ounce price is. And, okay, um, so it makes it easier for you. Yeah, it's just that, well, <laughs> it is because everything here costs us a different price. I mean, you can't say, okay, well, the price of silver is now 23 or $24, so that makes you, should make it all uh, $28. That's not the way it works. It, because it takes so long for them to get this stuff, and they have to pay more to get it, and they have to pay more to ship it. I still treat it nicely, yeah. but I'm less concerned about the buyback price in fiat currency. To me, this silver is for what it can ex be exchanged in goods and services one day, sure. potentially. So that, to me, is... Listen, if we're in a SHTF scenario, and you're bartering this for goods, food, supplies, like. they're not going to care if it's scratched up. Just the gold. It's, it's just, the concept, just the metal. The that'll, all that will matter. So, and recognizability. Yep. This might be slightly more recognizable than a generic round. They might question this a little bit. They might go, "Is that legit?" They may have to test it. But this is barterable too. Okay. Bars, same thing. Being the first time, I don't have a problem buying these. But in yeah. the future, I may just stick with this type of stuff because stick with the bars. That's what it's. That's its intended purpose. Is strictly just preservation of value. Yeah. yeah, that's all it's going to be yeah. for. I, I just, I personally and that don't didn't even dawn on me until yeah. you said that about these. It's like you know, it's like okay, I'm, I don't want to have to worry about selling it back, and it's got a scratch on it. It's not, you know, it's not why I'm buying it. You will get more back though yeah. per ounce with those that are dealer than you will with it. Yeah. I'm also paying more. Exactly, you'll redeem that yeah. premium, and if it goes up, you might <sighs> even be able to get more than you would with the bar. Hmm. But I also look at the bar as this way, too. I mean, you're getting low premium for a 10-ounce, yeah. larger size, right? A lot of people like to shrink this, though. They like to get to the one ounce, and they'll convert this down. But the larger the metal, especially gold but also silver, the higher the likelihood that it could be counterfeited oh, yeah. hmm. and might not be trusted as easily as something that people recognize more. Sure. Now, this is an IGR. They might look at the IGR and go, oh, yeah, I know what that is, or they may test it and say, yes. Again, barter scenario with silver. If you're going to sell this back to Tim, mm -hmm. then, yeah, get the cheapest silver you can if you yeah. want. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, you still have time, okay? And it doesn't really matter if you're buying a 100-ounce bar or a kilo or 10 ounce, or 5 ounce, when you're thinking you really need the 1 ounce, and it's in short supply because everybody's thinking what I need are 1 ounce. Yeah. It's the easiest thing to make is a 1 ounce bar, but it's not available. It's not available because every coin dealer, every bullion dealer has orders for 
thousands of one outs, whatever, bars and rounds. That's why the, the buffalo just went out of sight and was not available in a lot of places. Now it's the bars. I've had an order for 500 one ounce bars for almost two months now. And, you know, I have some to sell, but I also have to send a lot out to people who've already ordered it and paid for it. So the problem with the sovereign coins bled into the rounds now are bleeding into the bars. You're seeing this problem. Well, all of it is, is convertible, is easily convertible. It doesn't matter if you have 100 ounce bars and you're buying those cheap and you you go to, to a, your local coin dealer and say, okay, for this 100 ounce bar, I'd like 10 10 ounce bars. That's a good move. But if you say, I want 100 one ounce bars, you may have to wait two weeks. Uh, you know, but it's it's all going to be convertible down to whatever the unit is that you think you might need for barter, and I would we we still have time. That's my the the basic purchase you should do now. And we we have time. Uh, it's you know I don't have as much time left as you have, um, but you know so. Sure. Let's say I retire and in a couple of years or five years. It doesn't matter what what the timing is. I want to make sure I have something that I can use. Um, and that you know, be both gold and silver. If I walk out of here with just gold, that's fine because I know I can convert that to silver whenever I need to, or you know, maybe something that I need to buy. I'll find you know somebody who's willing to give me whatever it is. If I need cash, I can get cash for it. But I think we all have time to make those changes. But you want to get you want to take a position in the gold and a position in the silver pretty soon. Yeah. You just look at the, the relationship between mining and the price of silver. Yeah. Um, if mines are shutting down, and they are, uh, it's because the cost of mining is more than what they're getting paid because they're basing that on the COMEX price. Uh, so we're not seeing a lot of mining, and that, that's critical. That's why That's probably the major reason why we have such a shortage around the world. Oh, cash. Tim, just what you want, more yeah. cash. Yeah, let's, see. let's see what this is going to cost me. Oh, man, they just keep coming. <laughs> but it does sound like your bank is handling your cash issue a little better. Oh, yeah. This is only going to cost me $22.50 to deposit in the bank. Take that right out of my account. I'm going to probably go make a major deposit this coming week. You know, as soon as the first comes around. There is a big grassroots campaign brewing to keep the cash. I saw it on the front of the Wall Street Journal. But for everyday yeah. types of transactions, to right. get away from the digital currency, states may make their own, they you might. know, which I believe they have a right to do, you know. Um, well, I don't know. Didn't it say no. the Constitution? Well, no, I, mean, no I believe they have a right to do it. Not that the federal government believes they have that right, you know. That's Isn't that what it said? What? I mean, if... What did you say, Tim? He said no state will make any other than gold or silver currency. I think that's what was that's in the right. Constitution. Mint gold and silver. That is in our Constitution. Uh, I, I'd like to know what other constitutions the, in the world have that. This state does recognize the uh, the gold notes that mm -hmm. they have. Yes. That have been gold seen. Backs? Gold backs, yes. Gold backs, yeah. This state does recognize New Hampshire. those. Yes. Along with three others. Next time I'll try to make them all the same denomination. Yeah, well, the banks will probably still be... I hate to see you paying a, pay a premium to deposit and then have to sift through it all. I can only do so much, Tim, you know? Well, they they do it very quickly. Taking money out of my account is easy for them. They've got that down to a science. <laughs>